Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see from the title, it is going to be another hair review video. This video is sponsored by Miss Lynn Hair, so thank you so much Miss Lynn for sponsoring this video. They sent me over their 13 by 4 lace front wig in their transparent lace. Super cute. So it does come with an adjustable elastic band that you can sew on wig cap of course the wig the knots were not bleached so i did go ahead and bleach the knots um i just use regular 30 volume developer oh it comes with three combs on the top a comb in the back and yeah but anyways i use 40, 40 volume developer and then just a powdered bleach that i had laying around you want the consistency to be not runny but not so thick either just kind of whatever in between is that so i like to add the powder first and then go it's okay i'm ready i'm ready for it doing content right now as we speak bleaching the bleaching the um frontal to do a hair review yes Okay, so back to what I was saying before I was really interrupted, but yes, I'm using an applicator brush. I know some people like to use a knife or a spoon. Never use anything metal. Always use something plastic when you are doing this. I did let the um, bleach sit on the knots for an hour. I noticed that when I used to do like 20 minutes, the knots don't be bleached enough for me. So this time I did let it sit for an hour and some notch still wasn't as bleached as I would like them to be, but it definitely tinted the lace literally to mimic my skin tone. So that was a plus. And then I like to use the Shimmer Lights shampoo and conditioner to rinse that out. I went ahead and shampooed and conditioned the hair also since I had to get everything wet. And as you can see, baby, yes, the knots are bleached, the lace is tinted, it literally looks like scalpiana now, so we're good. Then I went ahead and decided to blow dry the hair. Um, I always recommend air drying the hair, but I was in a time crunch at this point. So I did blow dry literally the cap and the hair. The hair kind of air dried as I was plucking because plucking did take about 30 minutes in itself and it still wasn't plucked to my liking and plucked to how much it needed to be plucked. But that's neither here nor there. So I did go ahead and put it on my mannequin head while I'm watching Raven Elise, shout out to her. And yeah i decided to just kind of blow dry it a little bit and then as i was plucking it kind of just finished up air drying And when I start plucking, you guys should know to part out the front section so you don't over pluck and bald out your frontal and or closure. Then you want to pluck behind that line. And as you can see, those knots are bleached mighty well. Like I did a really, really good job this time. So I like to do the pluck, pluck, skip method, pluck, pluck, skip. You guys know what I like to do. And literally just do that around the whole perimeter of the head until it gets to whatever hairline you're trying to mimic. Either it's yours or somebody else's. And you're good.
bleach the knots but I did want to go in with this lace tint just because some of the knots weren't bleached and this was my first time um, using this so I kind of wanted to just see how good it works um, this spray or tint is a little bit darker than my skin tone but I feel like that'll work out in my favor in the long run like if I don't decide to bleach the knots like it'll make it really really tinted so I went ahead and cut off the back part of the lace because you don't want that in the back of your wig sis and then I do also cut out the comb that's in the front of the wig because you don't want that either because it just makes it really really bulky <laughs> Then after doing all of that wig maintenance, I like to put the wig on to see how the wig is fitting to see if I need to adjust anything like the adjustable bands and the elastic band wasn't already inside this one. So that lets me know if I need to add it or not to add it to see how tight it is. So this one wasn't as tight as I would like it to be. Um, so I did decide to go ahead and add the elastic band. Um, and right here I am going to show you how to sew in an elastic band. The way I like to do it is obviously fit it on your head first and then see, put the band right above your ear. So wherever your ear is at, I like to kind of hold right there on the wig and then I'll put my finger right there and then just flip it over to the other side. You do want to sew it on into like a smile. Um, I used to sew these on wrong all the time and it used to annoy the heck out of me. But if you like do it like a um like a u it needs to be in the shape of a u and that's how you know that you're sewing it on correctly so this wig wasn't too big i just had to cut off a little bit excess lace so it could lay perfectly on my head this one was a really good constructed wig like some wigs companies have sent me has been really really small but this wig literally fit me perfectly so i really really love that about it and you always want to clean off your forehead with alcohol, witch hazel, something because you don't want any dirt, makeup, or any residue on. So you need a clean base for your application. And that was from the lace tint. The lace tint I always tend to kind of bleed. So I always make sure to clean off my forehead before I lay down any glue or spray. I am using the Eva New York glue and then I went ahead and used the Eva New York spray. This is my very, very first time ever using the Eva New York spray and I have to say it literally worked so much better than the got to be glue spray. Like, baby, I'm about to throw I got to be glued, okay? <laughs> but no, I think I'm going to keep the got to be glue hairspray and use that for like if I have, um, <laughs> if I have like curls because... I don't really like to use pump it up, so I'll just use the got to be glue spray and use that for when I um, curl my hair. But the Eva New York, baby, that's a 10 out of 10. Why y'all ain't tell me about it before, sis? Like, it literally works like a charm. I used the red one. I know there's a red and a black one. Um, I may get the black one to see what the black one's talking about. But, girl, this red one, you need to go get it. It's going to make your application so flawless. And, baby the hold is holding like if i didn't even use the glue the freaking spray would have held this wig down i love it then right here i just wanted to show you guys how flowy this is like it's so cute super soft has a lot of volume and density i love it and i decided to go ahead and run the flat iron through it just a little bit since i did shampoo and condition it it was kind of like fluffy like a fresh blowout so i decided to run the flat iron through very very quick you know like i'm not actually like trying to get the hair bone straight just wanted it to be a little bit straighter for when i get ready to curl it i did decide to do um loose kind of like beachy wave curls i did use the flat iron and then when i get into the bathroom in the bathroom scene you're going to see that i did use a wand curler uh, i was just trying to see which process was faster for me to be able to curl my hair the fastest Girl, I want you on the rocks, no 
Okay, so I had to come to the bathroom to use the hot comb. Um, you want your closure front or whatever you have on to lay flat, okay? So the hot comb gonna do it every time. And then I was sitting in the mirror noticing that my right side was plucky better than my left side, so I did go ahead and do my left side. This image is flipped, so <laughs> that's why I look like I'm doing my right side, but this is really my left side in real life, so. On my head, I was able to pluck. Um, that's how I know that even New York spray was really good because when I try to do this with got to be glued free spray, my lace will be lifting when I start plucking on my head. So baby girl, they know what they were doing. So yeah, I just tried to do the pluck, pluck, skip, pluck, pluck, skip, and it's very much giving scalp. It's very much giving bleach knots. It's very much giving my skin tone and my skin complexion absolutely love bleaching your knots because it makes a freaking difference so i really really do recommend bleaching your knots then i wanted a little bit of layers in my bangs so i did use my eyebrow razor to cut some bangs and then this is me curling my hair for the no, this is me finishing this side of my hair. And then I did go ahead and go in with some concealer. I either use my Fenty foundation or concealer, I can't remember. I think I use my foundation so it can kind of mimic my um, skin tone a little bit better because the concealer is usually a little bit lighter. So I did want it to be just a tad bit darker. Then I cut the lace off, sprayed a little bit more of that Even New York spray to hold everything down. And after that, we're done. channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be another hair review video this video is sponsored by miss lynn hair thank you so much for sponsoring this video i did want to sit down talk about the hair and get into all the goodies that they gave me so of course i got the wig cap then i got this thick elastic band that they sent and this is a separate goodie bag separate from the actual bag that the hair came in next, i got a wide tooth comb next i got a edge brush this one is really cool i haven't had one like this before so i'm excited to use this i did do no baby hairs just because y'all know i don't really care for baby hairs but i never got a wig brush well edge brush that's like this so i'm excited to try that out they also sent some cute little press on nails then they sent a pair of lashes and i haven't got a full on like makeup brush set ever <laughs> from a hair company so that's totally different and it literally comes with like everything that you would need like beginner friendly makeup brushes that is nothing you know too crazy but definitely something that you can use um these are like mini so like these would be perfect for if you're traveling um i'll probably take some of these they're mostly kind of like eyebrow brushes and like eyeshadow and stuff but hey i thought that was really cute so the wig that i'm wearing they did send me their 13 by 4 straight lace front wig with an hd transparent lace as i was trying this wig on and putting it on my head i think i did talk about the lace like before i even cut the lace it melted in really really good 
I did have to bleach these knots. I'm pretty sure I already talked about that and showed that, but I had to bleach the knots because the knots did not come bleached and baby, the knots were knotting, okay? <laughs> so I bleached the knots and I used some um, lace tinting spray and then I got it to look like this. So I think it looks really nice. I did apply this wig lower than my liking. Like, I feel like not a lot of my forehead is showing and I don't really like that. So next time I apply this wig, I will apply like kind of in my hairline, but I didn't want to like pull my edges out or anything like that. So I did apply it a little bit lower, but I don't have a big forehead to begin with. So me applying a wig lower does not look right on me, but yeah. They sent me, how many inches did they send? I have it on the screen. I can't remember the length that they sent me, but super cute. The hair came bomb straight. I did do a little bit of loose beach waves with it. I think it looks so cute. Um, I did decide to do a middle part because a side part, this is only a 13 by four, so you don't have much parting on the side to make a deep side part. So I did decide to just go ahead and do a middle part. And yes, yeah, super cute. I decided to do no baby hairs to let you guys know that, you know, you can install this and it looks perfectly fine without them. Um, like I said, I did pull my hair down, my hairline down a lot lower than my liking. But as far as like the wig application and the way it lays, it lays pretty good. I actually really, really like the lace. Um, I didn't have any problems laying this wig down. I did use that new Eva New York spray also. And baby, that's a 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend that. So I really, really like the application. It's just, I move the wig a lot lower than my liking. That's what I don't like. But other than that, baby, I don't have any complaints about the wig. I did cut a little bit on the bangs just to have a little bit of layers to kind of shake my face since I did put my hairline down a little bit further than my liking but the hair holds a curl okay um it is raining so i did have to go outside with my dogs and like obviously it's raining but the curls did fall but yeah i do like a looser wave so they wasn't really tight to begin with in the first place but you know it's still super cute. I like it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, I will see you lovelies then. I will be showing pictures and videos at the end. So.